And this was it. Paris. I stepped out of the downpour into Flamel's hutch just in time. What followed was some kind of meteorological insanity. Hurricane Herbert baffled weathermen and struck anywhere in the world without warning. That was far from my biggest concern, though. You see, during the long cab ride from the airport, I had taken some liberties with my walk dogs, what with the uh, kind of march a gumshoe puts them through. Bumbled up and explaining to the obnoxious cabbie in my very approximate French that no, I didn't want a detour to gawk the big old oil rig they planted downtown. Fate sucker punched me right in the gut. I, uh, left my shoes in the cab. Nice going. Uh, ba ba ba. Oh, I missed that one. That's annoying. Paris, my goal is somewhere at the top of the stairs, but I just can't go wandering up there. Need someone to show me the way. It's an old, old portrait of, I guess, that uh, Flamel fella. He's looking kind of surprised for some reason. I guess people were all scraggly back then. <coughs> I'm not hauling that around. A beautiful depiction of Flamel indeed, Mr. Olmstead. Your penthouse quarters are ready, right this way. Olmstead, huh? Nice, familiar ring to it. Using the hunter's mark on Flamel's portrait revealed an ashamed the assumed name Orenstein's stayed here under Omslav. I should confront Serge, the concierge, about it. Okay, I don't know who Serge is yet. Looks like a flyer about Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel, 1330 to 1418, was a French scrivener and a manuscript seller. He's supposed to have learned important alchemical secrets at some point during his life, feverishly pursuing esotericism from then on. Flamel is recorded as having resided in this building in what was then an attic. That's it. It bored me to tears. Can't even see letters anymore. <laughs> I'm not getting anything. This might prove useful at some point. Uh-huh. Well. Ledger. That's a lot of book right there. Yeah. Not everything's gone digital, I guess. I find that strangely comforting. <laughs> That's the concierge's prerogative. Nothing. Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess. It's it's indecipherable. Been a while since I've seen one of these. A landline. The world has changed indeed. I don't think I'm getting any calls here. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Yeah, I think that's about all we're going to get. Let's look at the bell. Shiny summoning thingy. And I mean shiny. Look at that thing. I could ring this all day long. No resonance. Weird. Good evening. Good evening, monsieur. My name is Serge, and I'm the concierge here. How may I help you? It's uh, quite the weather we're having out there. Oh, yes. A freakster. They call it uh, the Herbert. Taking the entire world by, well, by storm. <laughs> huh, yeah. Paris is still beautiful in the storm, though. I all heartedly agree, monsieur. She's the prettiest no matter the weather. I believe I have the right address. Rue de Montmorency, 51. 
I'm interested in an apartment. Um, everything is rented out, monsieur. I'm sorry. Everything? Well, yes, yes, everything. You seem to hesitate there. Is there maybe one you're holding on to for somebody? Monsieur is very inquisitive. Decisions. My interests are scientific in nature. I understand there's some uh, historical significance to this building. You are correct. Sir Nicolas Flamel, the famed alchemist, lived here for a while. On the top floor. May I see that apartment? I'm afraid not, sir. As you well guessed, it is being held on to. Held on to, huh? Any chance it's a mysterious person interested in stabilizing volatile elements and such? Monsieur is very inquisitive. Hmm. Does the name Olmstev ring a bell, Mr. Serge? I do not know who you are or what are you seeking, but this conversation ends now. May I have some soup on the stove and I must turn to it. Au revoir. Hmm. Paris, my goal is somewhere. <laughs> Search may be a... But he does uh, show up whenever I ring up the bell. Kind of cruel, but also fun. I think we got off on the wrong foot, Monsieur Serge. Makes no difference. I cannot show you the apartment, and that is final. I find your reticence suspicious. My reticence is born of loyalty and respect. Loyalty to whom, Mr. Olmstev? Oh, your inquisitiveness grows tiresome. I have things to do. No, if you'll excuse me, please let yourself out. Nope. Ah, it's you again. Look, monsieur, I have a wife on the stove and a soup in the, the other way around. My point is, I'm a busy man. Soup? There are more important things than soup. You are technically correct, but it is too late in the evening for us to even in Paris. I just wanted to come clean. It's, it's Olmstead who sent me. I was just testing you before. Oh, really? I never saw him with anyone else before, let alone sending someone. Allow me to remain suspicious as to your truthfulness. The fact that you know his name does not mean you represent him or are even his friend. You have the right to your opinion. And the right to ignore your apartment visiting insistences. Mm. I'm here for the, uh, the thing Mr. Olmstead left behind. I'm sure I can find a way to convince you that I'm his representative. Fine, I'll play along. Hm. Let me think. Um, something that only he and I would know. Aha! Um, uh -huh. All right. Could you perhaps uh, tell me, Mr. Uh, uh, Ketype? Mr. Ketype, do you know what his nickname for me was? That only he and I knew. And if you tell me that, I'm fully convinced he really did send you and hand you the key to Flamel's room. Flamel's what? Room. R Rome? Room, room! Oh, you are insufferable! Sergio Leone? Not even closer. Gramps? Not by a long shot. 
Uh, stretch? <laughs> no. I, uh, I don't recall right now. I'm sure it'll come to me. Why am I not surprised? Anything else, monsieur? Uh, not for now, I guess. Are you? Okay, there's got to be something else in here that they've touched. Portrait. The stair... The stairs creak, I'm guessing. Nope. Ledger, communication device. Kitchen hallway. A beautiful depiction of Flamel indeed, Mr. Olmstead. Your penthouse quarters are ready, right this way. Olmstead, huh? Nice, familiar ring to it. Nada. Resonance. Mr. Watson, Mr. come here. I want to see you. Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess. It's it's indecipherable. Must be the missus. She's got a fierceness to her. If there's pants to be worn around here, I bet she's the one wearing Oh, Serge! We will be so happy here! Now get cracking on that dinner! Allez! Fishing hook? There's a fishing hook just lying on the floor. I wonder how it got here. Do people fish in Paris? I guess I'm an uncultured oaf. I'm not getting anything. So we have a hook. I'm sorry, I can't read ancient-ish. It's probably Latin. That's as good a guess as any. Hic habitat flemilus. That did not help. Uh, <laughs> this is all I have to work with. This way, this way. So good to have you again. This way, this way. So good to have you again. Portrait ancient. Get nothing here. Picked up this fishing hook. Don't ask me why. I'm not sure either. It's a flyer with Bears Flamel's mug. It's also got a writ of his goings and doings. Reading that, though, is a first class ticket to Napsville. Population Z's. Not a smart place to put a hook in. No hooking required. Nah, it's, uh, hooked into the wall already. Nah, I can just use the bell. Oh no, do you not have anything better to do with your time than torture me, Mr. Kidtype? May I inquire about a book you have here? <sighs> you may. It is our Flamel Memorial Guestbook. I have been keeping it for more than 30 years now. 
So it's uh, one of those things you write your impressions in after visiting? You should be a detective. How can I give my impression on Flamel if you won't let me visit his rooms? I don't know. Does this lobby elicit any historical enthusiasm in you? Alright, I'd like to jot down my impressions of the place. I'm afraid I can't let you personally do that, but I will be happy to write down whatever it is you wish. Hmm, alright. By the way, what a beautiful quill you've got there. Actually, it's a fountain pen, made to look like a quill. Is the feather real? A quite real Corvius Corax feather, yes. A fine present from someone very close to my heart. What shall I write? <clears throat> I, Donald R. Katype. Yes? Um... Knowing full well that this will go into recorded history. Yes. I'm com compelled to record into. I'm compelled to record into written history. Yes. <laughs> that through no agency of mine. Bon Dieu, is there more? Oh, I've only just begun. I am a visitor to these strange francophone lands. Yes? So I staggered through the rain-slick streets of the metropolis. In the name of all that is sacred, is there more? There's... For, in these precipitous times, my efforts to abscond the true nature of my incursions into the obscure and forbidden... Monsieur, you'll have to excuse me. I will be right back. Je viens, je viens. This is for you, Papillon. Oh, Monsieur Homestead, it's it's beautiful. You are you are too kind. Okay, we got it. I might have known it was you. What is it now? Um, I remembered what Olmstead used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure Monsieur Olmstead of my everlasting devotion and friendship. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. Olmstein sends his regards. Olmstein? Huh. I mean Olmstev. Silly me. Thank you for delivering his message. What is it that endeared you so to Olmstev, Mr. Serge? He's, um, well, uh, huh, strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. I just feel so loyal to him. Strange. I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. Yeah, okay. How do you remember Olmstev? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? I, um, uh, well, huh, funny. Know that you mention it. I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but I'm an old man, and my memory is foggy about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. How do you remember Olmstev? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Oh. What of his appearance? Uh, huh. Strange. Yes, but, but that... Yeah. 
Is Flamel's uh, thing still up there? Is Sing music type? Oh, come on, Serge. I work for the man. You know, the stabilizing element he was after. I truly know nothing of what Monsieur Olmstead was researching up there. I figured he would keep you in the loop, no? It's complicated. Thanks, Serge. I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bother at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstead. Yay! Oh, this does not look good. Yeah. Ah, Paris. The city of lights. More like lightning now. Looks just as dreary as any other town in a thunderstorm. Wish I could have visited under different circumstances and weather. Oh. Bonsoir, Perry. What a cacophony. Too many damned people. So that's to go back. Here's the armoire. A really old, really crooked armoire. It looks, well, ancient. A uh, big vertical crack in it lets me know it's empty. Oh, that's good. Okay, no more writing. That's good. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Uh huh. Probably alchemical in nature. No time to look into it. Not gonna pick any of this stuff up. Who knows what it is, and does. Ya at Zoftu. Ya Angaku. Ya Zi Nibo. Okay. I agree with that sentiment. Ignore the pentagram for now. Let's go on to this side of the screen. Surviving books, rotting books. Okay, let's look at the rotting books. Ancient books, rotting away in this forsaken attic. So much for anyone ever reading them. They're no use to anybody anymore. They're no use to anybody anymore. <coughs> These particular books had somehow survived. They seemed to be in alphabetical order. I was going to have to make some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually. Ooh. Equis. Uh-huh. Right. Five symbols, five words. Um, what was it that he said over here? Ia at Zoftu. Ia Angaku. Ia Zi Nibo. Okay. It's not that one. Of course there had to be a pentagram. Of course. I guess Olmstev tried to follow in Flamel's footsteps. No visitor. Books hold me. Order is capital. Order is capital. Like surviving books in the library have got to be connected to the diagram. Or they all have just the first five words underlined. Can't be coincidence. Diagram. From my foray into the I know the rituals involved certain words need to be spoken near each angle of the wicked sign. Where do I look for them? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what to say. No visitor. Books hold me. Order is capital. Eh? Order is capital must mean there is a certain sequence I need to follow. Joy. Yeah. There's something to tackle on these titles. It is perfectly not 
I'm just gonna feel something capital. That looks capital. Uh -huh. So we use capital words. Clever. Ew, not so fun. Okay. Well, we know there's a few that start with et. So let's see if et writes. Okay, let me send me anywhere. Nope. Oh. Let's see if it's that. Inquisitor, nothing. Mm -mm. Just want to see if I'm on the right path. Nothing. Ooh, there's not a just over there. Yeah, I'm not Yeah, I'm not Yeah, I'm not Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, that probably won't work. I was going to load a whole lot of words, but... Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, fuck that, but oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Strange appearance of creation, yes. No one's here. No one's here. Don't have him. Don't have him. Alright, we're Lowest at three. Rainy, somber, three. Ah, uh, three. Nah, see, waste. Looks just a reason. Wish I could do it, sir. Real, new Kudamar. Just one, eight. Real, new Kudamar. Just real. One, two, three. That's only four books with one word. That goes with five words, so. That goes one book with five words. Right, that's four. Um. Yeah, let's go. Neon S. So you mentioned my class. I'll try this and it didn't work. Nothing. So there's a fighting sequence and there's five words on a line, so I think each word slots into a position in the middle round. Nothing. That's pretty good. No. Perhaps I'll be able to divine what word could be if I. Get some words, it is already done. I'm sure I've done this before. Okay. What was you? Yes, so I, I, would it be? Let's just go back one hand over here wrong. Okay, maybe onto something. Then this one. Just going through the eye books. Okay, this could be either really good or really bad. Okay. Um. Wait a minute. C D D. No, no, I'm not going to I'm not I just noticed that there's like a V there. Cactus. I had chosen the book start.
Est. 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 Dracone. Dracone. In. In. Finem. Ooh, that was a scribble. Nope, that wasn't. 